the orange one here so we um recruit all the princes that we brought back unfortunately some of the princes died in captivity like uh this guy yeah i just wasn't aware that of him losing his leg and unfortunately we lost him we do have i believe everyone back at base and check this out we got quite a few hive princes we've got and uh we went with the uh the theme that someone was suggesting a little while back of having them being um named after cheese which was a good idea because i needed an idea for a theme for these guys so we've got fondue and we got Yarlsberg here got i n i realize now that i misspelled cheddar cheetar so we're gonna call you cheetar we got arnold the traitor another traitor He's going to carry the me me -tio I don't even... Mito... Uh, Acker, and we got George, and we got uh, Redmain, who's going to actually start exploring with us again, and American. So yeah, um, we got a little, little squad here. Um, I think also... Oh yeah, we've also got Bree and Parm, which for some reason got added to this squad. But we'll, we'll move them over. But I'm pretty happy we got quite a few of them. The one problem is now that we don't have that great of armor on some of them. So we're going to have to shuffle some of our soldiers' armor onto them. And um, I'm thinking probably get some armor delivered from the anthill. We'll probably run someone up there. But yeah, we got our hydroponics going. Uh, people actually are kind of waiting, I think, on on things to happen. So they're just kind of standing around a lot. So I've got to do some base management to get that sorted out. But there's got to be a little bit of cutting in and out um, in this episode because I have pre-recorded some stuff. I just had some time to play. And yeah, I'll go ahead and jump ahead now and show you what we got next. All right, here's a uh, swag. He's gone and ran to the best place to get um, like research items slash uh, cybernetics in the Black Desert City. Uh, you know, spoilers, of course, but it's located up here. If you watched my old series, then you're pretty familiar with uh, Black Desert City, but it's it's kind of far away from both of the Ant Hill and uh, the fort. So. Uh, yeah, we're, it's not really something I want to go to regularly, but if you look here, they got uh, got some pretty good weapons. But honestly, I never really buy the weapons. I just look at the blueprints. Look at all that. Look at all those ancient science books. They got engineering books. They've got some pretty good uh, blueprints there as well. Nothing that I really want though. And here's the real, the real good stuff. They've got. AI cores and of course we've gone and bought one we can't afford a second one right now um, so I think I'm gonna have some people buying buying stuff what is going on with you you're rolling deep with your guards there anyways we got um, a ton of stuff up in the ant hill to sell so we actually have I believe right now jazz yeah jazz and stickman have been selling some of our random junk up here to the people that would buy it up in uh, mongrel and we've been using that money uh of course at the scrap house now i've been thinking a little bit about what i want the uh the princes to do they've been just kind of hanging out at the base uh and i think i want to have them go attack the slave markets here and if that goes well maybe go and try and take out clown study and drifters last just kind of take out the uc from this part of the map because i haven't you know in my other let's play we took out them up in the desert but i think i want to try and clear them out the south here and then the one problem with that is that i think they might attack uh, the ant hill so that might cause us some problems in the long run but i think our ant hill defenses are pretty good we just need to get more soldiers there you know We've got really good armor there, so it, I mean, we could honestly put that armor on the people that we have there, and we'd be we'd probably be fine, you know. Uh, we also have hydroponics getting built a little bit more. We got 
some hemp. And yeah, things are things are going good for us. You know, we haven't had any raids coming by. Um, there is a, a berserker thing that's going towards the anthill, but I'm not too worried about that. I think our turrets should be able to handle that. And I was going to have Silas maybe run up there to pick up things anyway, so if he needs to, he can run like reconnaissance and disruption operations. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and jump to the next part, yeah? Hey, so we are at the uh, the slave market, and I remembered something. These guys have crossbows. Um, I was just checking out the, the area, and we could probably pull some of the patrols and we'd be okay but with those two things up there I'm not feeling too good about our chances of actually taking this place well I mean we could probably take the place but the thing is is that there's there's gonna be a lot of losses if we do that so I'm not sure if I really do want to attack the slave market it's a tough call I mean and we are fighting for a free hive and all that I think what we're going to want to do is maybe try and pull some of these guys out of there. Got to hide behind here where they can't hit us with their crossbows. And, um, yeah, try and melee them as much as possible, as much as the game will let us. We're going to try and pull them into that, like, this corner here. Yeah, and they're in a hold order, so this should work out. kind of slave not very much okay, there's two people with crossbows there let's uh let's get over this hill guys why don't you come up here we'll just like mob on them let's take off that command about running at your own speed And I'm going to have y'all attack this guy, including Swag. Oop. Well, they did hit us with a couple crossbows there. Uh, Anvil and... Oh, Benedict. Oh, Benedict lost a leg there. Uh, stop your hold. Actually, no. Um like passive because then you'll heal each other up right okay let's go like here and we'll do a kind of a repeat of what we did just a second ago so with this dude and I think we might want to get the crossbow. We might want to pick up their crossbows and use them against them. Let's try and do something kind of like that. Oh, was that a bolt that almost hit one of our guys? I think it was. Benedict is okay. And Anvil's actually going to be okay. He's actually, he's fine. You're trying to keep pace with Benedict there. Well, the nice thing is that now our high stat Hiver, he's going to have a robotic limb. The not so nice thing is that we don't really have uh, that robotic limb ready for you. There's a number of them just kind of hanging out around here. Oh, this is where the noble is. Where are these dudes running around to? I think they're like taking aim at a couple of us, but I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like there's some bandits or something up the road there. Yeah, what's that? That's gonna come into the town. I mean, it's gonna get wrecked, whatever it is, because they don't really have proper armor. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, what's this? 
Blood spiders. Hey, nice. Got some blood spiders going in there and killing. For us. I think if we just honestly just hung out here. Then, um the natural spawns that kind of wander through here probably would be enough to take people out and do a good amount of damage. Bondu, you're not really hurting, so I'm going to have you get on the front line here. Oh! Okay, well, Fondu just died. Are you kidding me? That, I feel like, was pretty unfair of the game to do there. Well, we'll definitely get the good gear that Fondue just dropped. Uh, swag? Where is Fondue's gear? Yeah. Uh, Bree's about to get... Uh, wrecked. Let's take that... Oh, they got masterwork gear. And get rid of that. Hold on to these. Okay. My friend, why don't we get you up there as well? Just in case, yeah, because Bree, I had a feeling, might get kind of entangled. Stop going on passive. Yeah, we should be able to take out these guards, but then we're going to have the problem of running into town where they're going to hit us even more hard. Hold on. My friends, stay over here. We're whittling them down. They've only taken out one of us. Like, really taken out. You know? Hey, you got a sword, so we got you. In lockdown. Um, who else do we have here? Soldier wise, Ezia. Why don't we get you up front? Oh, geez. Okay, everyone, stop being passive again. Just attack him if you can. There we go. Good. Good job, team. And we got. Bandits? Yes, we got Swamp Ninjas. Get him, Swamp Ninja. Oh, I'm definitely bummed about losing Fondue. But I think we can work with it. I think this strategy of holding back and letting the wildlife just kind of come and will them down a little bit is gonna pay off in the long run. Uh, who are you attacking, Red? Wait, what? Did that guy get off the ground there? Or no? No, he didn't just like get off the ground. We should also be looting these guys their armor, because they probably got some pretty good stuff in here, right? Uh swag, why don't you just loot? No, his his armor is actually pretty awful. You though have a ranged weapon that I do want. Should probably be picking up a couple of these. Yeah, your armor is actually trash. Like, absolutely trash. But your ranged weapons are good enough to uh, take out a prince. So uh, we will probably pick that up and use that. Let's see. Maybe we got... I feel like the princes would be better with this, but our soldiers are uh, a little bit more expendable, so we could send them in with with the crossbows. You know, we got who else do we have with us soldier-wise? Uh, Ezia. I don't think you got one, right? No, you do not. Go pick one up. 
Okay. Now, do I dare go in, or do I just let the wildlife continue to uh, re wreck them a little bit? It says you, you were kind of threatened by something. What are you being threatened by? Not wildlife. I kind of feel like someone should go pick up Anvil, so if he does get up, he doesn't just get shot. Let's get him in the foxhole. You know? If we only lose one prince to this, I think that's pretty successful. I think we got just super lucky when we attacked um, last time. You guys are all just asleep. I kind of want to attack in the cover of night. Slaver boss. Alright, well if you really want to get in there and do the job yourself, I will not stop you. Feeling, uh, getting second thoughts? <laughs> go ahead, turn off the passive. Yeah, go ahead and just, wow, okay. <laughs> I don't even know who did that, but that was quick. Yeah, they just do not have good gear, these guys. I suppose the, the game developer has to give you a decent chance of getting out of here. You do get captured, so if they gave all the guards like really good stats, you would never be able to escape. Right? Uh, I'm thinking it's wild, we got wildlife coming for us, but it's not. It's just these guys that we are fortunately able to to uh, get in here. That red saber, it looks like they actually still have their legs. Okay, that is interesting. Um, I am not gonna... If we go in there, we're gonna lose at least like two hivers. And I spent so much time like before this recording started trying to take out people I just feel like that would just be like super dumb to go in there I mean this even this entrance has like one turret this one's got one there this one's got a couple there as well yeah I don't think we're gonna be able to easily take this place out at least not during the day. Oh, wait, what? What's going on? Get off the passive job, just attack. If you can heal up, you should be right. Yeah, I don't think anyone's not getting healed. It's more that we just keep on getting randomly attacked by these dudes. Oh, you actually had semi-decent gear. You were a noble guard, though. That kind of makes sense. I mean, really, all we need to do to take this place out is get to that noble house. I think I might just wait till the cover of darkness to do that. Because I don't think we can get in here, can we? We got samurai heavies here. Yeah, I think that, especially with these damage settings, the smart thing to do is just kind of wait for the wildlife. Let them kind of do some damage. Like those blood spiders or red sabers. I know it's not the most exciting, but I am not going to lose these princes. I've spent so long gathering and collecting them. I guess that's why you don't put your valuable assets right on the front line, right? Wait, that red, did that red saber kill one of the samurai heavies? Way to go. Taking it straight to the 
Uh, I was gonna say the man, but I don't know. It's not really how it works in this game. You're a drifter, you're just kinda hanging out here. If I was a drifter, I would not be hanging out on a slave camp. There's a river raptor. Okay, so the river raptors are coming to feast on the bodies. But it doesn't seem like the river raptors and these guys are hostile to each other. No. I'm just going to pass some time. Because I feel like there's got to be something that wanders in here. No. Guess it doesn't. Maybe we should just skip over from this and go to Clown Steady. I'm not sure. Maybe we could. Maybe not with Swag, because you're kind of super valuable to me. Maybe we can. Like, say, like, hey, attack, and then, like, run back, and someone will come to us. We could do that, right? Won't that, like, kite these guys? If I say, hey, attack this guy, yep. Okay. No? Never mind. That does not work. Or, no, never mind, it does work. Yeah, I think we can pull these guys like that. Like, I challenge you to a duel! Fight me! <laughs> uh, we got better stats than you, bro. Though, if you hit us in the head, that would be the end for Ez Ezia. <laughs> really? See if you can attack him. And Redmane, I'm gonna get you over here. Nice. Okay, good job, team. That was that was pretty well done. And Swag, maybe take that weapon. I think that's out of range. Okay, we'll come up here and take it then. Because that is actually something I do want to take. Where are the other ones? Yeah, we, we're going to pull these guys out. You know, in my head, we're like, they're mustering out to meet us. Like, we're, like, I don't know, swearing at them. You can say things in this game. How do you even do that? Like, there's like a, a text option, right? Where you can... Like, dialogue? Can't you, like, type something? I thought there was a way for you to, like, say something. Like, you can tell your person to say something. I don't know. I could have sworn I've seen it online. Maybe I'm just thinking of, like, Cataclysm, because I know you can do that in that game really easily. Okay, red main. Maybe, nope. Don't go charging out. I know you're super fast. Actually, I didn't know that you were that fast. Just surround this dude. Arnold, I don't know why you are taking so long to swing your weapon. Oh yeah, because you got this. I keep on forgetting that you got that combat cleaver. How are these turrets looking? Still being guarded. And that one's just got one that's being armed right now. If we could, like, during night, sneak up here, because I don't see any lights, you know? Like, if we could wait for, like, nighttime, we might be able to do, like, a night assault and take this place out. 
Like if they don't see us and we can like just line up outside the buildings and then run inside the buildings and just, you know, like Mr. Sandman, just take him out, then we would be, we would be fine. Our problem right now is the fact that they can see us so, um, far away. Yeah, come out, come get me. No, keep on coming. Okay, this seems to be a little bit odd. I think I'm getting a hang of how it works with kiting these guys out. If I keep on like that, and then you keep on coming, and then keep on following me. Okay, yeah, now you are enticed enough where you're actually going to come and attack. Nope. Come here. Redmane and Bree... Why don't I get the two of you to come loop around? It doesn't look like you're going to need to, but... Good. No one bites the dust, right? Now, here's where I'm afraid to load up the game, because I think when you load up the game, it like respawns who's in these places. But I can't remember. I don't know exactly how that works. In either case, we need to wait for night. That's basically my, my conclusion from what I've seen so far. Is that attacking during day is not going to be um, the winning strategy here. With those turrets in our damage settings. I and mean, just the pathetic crossbows that they have seem to be doing more than enough to really hurt us. Where are the blood spiders when you need them? Ooh, what happened? Oh, Well, that's sad. He's gonna die. <laughs> Hold up. You are not going anywhere, my friend. Uh... Let's see. Parm. Go, go kill that dude. Redmain, yeah, help out a little bit there. Nice. Good, good, good. You know, Parm, the thing about him is that he's going to be super quick with those attacks due to that dexterous arm. Um, let's see, what if... Can I get this other dude to come out? I, I challenge you. Yeah, this seems to be working, pulling them out like this. It's taking forever. But it does seem to be effective. Do I dare let him attack uh, all the way th this far forward? Nah. That's just... Why, why take unnecessary risks, you know? And then you two get on them. Nice. Good job, Parm. I'm starting to like you with your robo arm. Uh looking looking like we got kind of a clear path. If we could get past these, then we would be clear. What if I say, like, attack that dude? Will he come charging down to meet me? Yeah, he will. Nice. And then the alarm's raised. I don't know if that means that the whole... No, it doesn't look like the whole group is going to come out to fight us. If I look at your stats, yeah, I'm not too worried. Parm, you should be able to get the jump on this dude, right? Yeah. You're fine. Just don't get within sight of those turrets. What if I challenge one of the ones that's sleeping? How does that work? 
I saw a dude just like run right here, right? Oh, that? You right there, my friend. You're kind of scaring me. I didn't realize there was a turret up there. If I'm looking at him, would we be able to shoot him? I'm curious, because we've got some people with crossbows. I'm going to take one of our um, more expendable people. Yeah, like you. And let's see what happens when we um, go crossbow. So let's get that here. And I know, I know this is less than ideal getting rid of this Nodachi, but I think we need to do it so that we can get the crossbow on Ezia and try shooting that dude. The ranger. Where is he? Can you shoot from there? No, you cannot. What about from here? Like out here? Would you be able to shoot him? Oh, he's he's shooting at you. Nope. If he's shooting at you, get within cover under cover. There we go. Yeah, if that dude's gonna try and play that game. Then we are going behind cover into the foxhole. I know I said that you were expendable, but I'm not wasting. I'm not wasting you. And everyone, get up in here. And sorry, as where's Asia? Guys, everyone. Everyone just charge him. No. <laughs> oh, oh, American's dead. Okay. Great. Well, that's a bummer. We lost two princes so far. That's like honestly like pretty big, pretty big deal for me. I feel like I, I keep on doing this. I keep on not learning my lesson. I keep on throwing, throwing people into the into the fire. Get that, please. And we'll hide back in here. Okay. Well, at least the turret's not being armed, right? At least one of the three is down. All right. Well, I think that I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.